Hey guys, um, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today, I've been sleeping all day basically because I don't feel too good, but I'm finally up. It's 4 p.m. and I'm just now eating. So I decided to just whip the camera out and record some curry chicken breast because it's easy and fast to make. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. So to the chicken, I'm going to add some chili oil. Ignore my madness. I know what I'm doing. Ground ginger, thyme, black pepper, garlic powder, curry powder, and all your beautiful vegetables, which is peppers and onions. Almost forgot my salt. I had to put some salt in here. Not too much because I believe that curry powder has salt in it. You might want to taste it and see where you're at. The reason why I use the chili oil is because chili goes with curry. That's number one. Not particularly the chili oil, but I prefer to use that than olive oil. I'm not a huge fan of olive oil, but I use it when I have to. Mix this up, allow it to marinate, and we're going to cook it up. See, look at me. I told y'all I didn't feel good today. I forgot to add my hot sauce. This is scotch bonnet hot sauce. You don't want too much of this because it's hot. So maybe a teaspoon. <laughs> All right, guys. So I also cut up some plantains, which I'm about to sear them off in my skillet. I made this numerous amount of times, but for my new subscribers, I'll show some of what I do. Just you're just gonna put it into some hot oil, fry them. That's it. Um, you can eat this with brown rice. Rice. I am still making some brown rice, and yeah. Alright guys, so now I'm going to make some peach guava juice, the same routine as the watermelon juice or the other juice I made the other day. We're going to put it in a food processor, strain it, sweeten it, and put some lemons or limes and we're good to go. So I have a ton of fresh peaches here and some guava. My peaches look amazing, so does my guava and they're both kind of sweet. I wish I could eat them all, but yeah. Alright guys, so I have my peaches and my guava in my food processor, so you're going to blend this up. We're going to blend it up before we add the water. Right, so now I'm going to add my water down in here. Most likely, yeah, I'm going to go with half the bottle first and then blend it, add the other half of water. Um, This is a 16 ounce bottle of water. Alright guys, so now I'm just starting to strain my juice through my strainer. I'm only doing this little part so you guys can see, you know, I can't do much while holding the phone. And yeah. And don't forget to check out my previous video, guys, so you can get an update about what's coming. Um, I won't be holding the phone anymore. <laughs> only for a little bit longer. And I just want things to be perfect for you guys. So just be patient. But yeah, you're going to strain this all out. Get rid of the pulp. And then we're going to sweeten this up. Now, in my refrigerator, all I found was a big old lemon and all these limes. So, I'm going to use this big old lemon in these limes. However, if you have only lemon, that's totally fine. Alright, guys, I already have my sweetener down in there, which I use sugar. You can use agave, honey, or no sweetener at all. And now, I'm just going to start putting my limes and my one lemon <laughs> down in here. You know what would be great down in here, too, guys? Some ginger. I wish I had some good old fresh ginger. It would be great down in here. And, um, yeah, I'm also going to add another bottle of water. As you can see, this juice is pretty thick. And, yeah, and then now we're going to move on to the chicken. I need you guys to heat a skillet nice and hot. And then we're going to add the chicken and cook it off. So my skillet is nice and hot. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna take my chicken, slide it down in there. And you're just gonna spread it out. The 
going to allow this to simmer until the chicken is cooked all the way through and the gravy is nice and thick. And that's it. 20 30 minutes, you're done. All right, guys, so this is why I use fresh herbs when I cook my food because that dry thyme or those thyme leaves were not working for me. I needed to add some fresh thyme in here. So I got my fresh thyme and I put it down in here. This is about the last five minutes of cooking. And I'm just reducing it so the gravy can get nice and thick. But as you can see, it looks and smells amazing. Well, you can't smell it, but it looks amazing. And I needed some more salt and pepper, so I added it. So make sure you taste your sauce and your meat. And I'm just going to let this cook out for five minutes. And we're pretty much done. I'm going to plate everything up and let you guys see what it all looks like together. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. You got the curry chicken right over there. My plantains. And I just chopped up some tomatoes for a veggie. And my rice back there. And I have my glass ready, nice and cold, with some fresh peaches in there. You're going to take your peach guava juice and just pour it. Yum. Oh. That juice is so good, by the way. The guava is not too much. Make sure your peach to guava ratio is like 2 to 1 because guava is pretty strong. And yeah, so that's my dinner for tonight. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Bye, guys. See another look at all that fresh thyme. I love thyme, like it's my favorite herb. Yeah, and these are heirloom tomatoes, which is why the color is like that. Yep, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.